Hi everyone, I'm Mark Eisenthal with you on this Friday afternoon. Let's check out the weather headline. The storm is coming. We're talking about heavy, wet snow. Actually, I think it's going to be snowing in Boston before dawn tomorrow. Then we definitely have a rain snow line problem, which is going to be very close to the city of Boston. And even if we do change to rain in Boston for a time, it should flip back to snow before the storm pulls away very early tomorrow night. It's a fast moving storm. Then we're watching the potential for some snow on Monday. But right now, at this moment, it looks like the worst of that will stay off to our south. But stay tuned. All right, let's get into this and see what we have for you in terms of the latest satellite loop. And I want to show you that we have a whole slew of moisture coming up at us from the Gulf of Mexico. Notice it's racing northeast. Clouds will be thickening up. Could be a very colorful sunset here. Here's the southern branch. It's waiting for a little energy to drop south from the northern branch. And this storm is really going to be bombing out off to the east-southeast of Cape Cod by tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we look at the latest radar loop, you see precipitation now racing off to the northeast. You see on the northern periphery of the storm through uh, portions of Ohio and the Virginias, it's in the form of snow. But it's mostly rain south of there. And as this precipitation hits the marginally cold air in southern New England, it, of course, will start as snow. So as we jump ahead and look at the weather map for 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we have an impressive storm, which is located south of Long Island. Now, the storm track is very important. This is off the NAM model. And they suggest the storm stays far enough southeast. So with what we call vertical motion in the atmosphere, some rapid lift in the north-northeast wind, we could stay close to all snow in Boston. It's a little nerve-wracking. Water temperature is still close to 40, so everything has to be just so with this storm. There's no cold high to the north of us. Now, this is at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice the low center is to the southeast of Cape Cod. That would mean a north-northeast wind, and we could have some heavy wet snow in Boston. The roads are going to become a real mess. But by 7 o'clock tomorrow night, folks, this thing is done. It's raced off to the northeast. Precipitation shuts off between, let's say, 6 and 7 tomorrow night. It's a done deal. It's goodbye and good luck. Now, how much snow are we going for? I'm going to be a little chicken here in Boston, right along the coast, point south uh, to Providence, one to three inches. But you get into the 128th belt, three to six. And 495 north and west, four to eight inches of heavy, wet, cement-like snow back into the Berkshires, three to six. And there could be an inch or two of snow in the Cape. I think the rain will wind up as snow there. So the forecast goes like this. For the balance of this day, sunny, beautiful. It'll be in the 30s, high clouds coming in late. And then of an eye clouding up, snow before dawn. It'll be 25 to 32. Here's your five-day forecast starting with tomorrow. Snow, certainly in the greater Boston area, may mix with sleet and rain and may go to rain right along the immediate coast for a while and then flip back to snow late tomorrow afternoon and then very early tomorrow evening. It'll be big range in temperature, 26, 495, 36 south of Boston. Sunday, partly sunny, low in mid-30s. Monday, cloudy, cold. There may or may not be some snow around. I think the worst of the storm on Monday, the way I see it right now, is going to be well south of us. Tuesday and Wednesday, partly sunny and cold, low in mid-20s. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm meteorologist Mark Eisenthal.